Fantastic Night Dreams Cotton, the cult hit from Japan, just got a reboot for the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. We're looking at the Switch version today. The physical edition just launched and the retail price is $39.99 and I definitely think it was worth every penny. So this series has been around since the early 90s. This is a reboot of the original release game, but it also still contains the original release game with the X68000 version being a playable option from the start. The original version of this game for the Turbo Graphics is one of the most sought after and expensive games for video game collectors. So having an official release on the Nintendo Switch with a cartridge feels pretty awesome to me. Now when you first boot up the game, you're greeted to several options, including playing the arranged mode, which is the reboot version with new HD graphics and arranged music, or the original retro version via that X68000 mode. You also have a time attack mode, online rankings that you could look through for all the modes in the game. You got some basic options as well, which includes selecting a character. You can unlock Silk, by beating the arranged mode, which does consist of seven stages total. I believe there's supposed to be other characters offered at some, some point in the future as free DLC, but I haven't heard anything currently for the North American release as of the recording of this video. So when I first booted up this game, I immediately jumped into that arrange mode. The artwork here has all been redone and is fantastically animated. With the cutscenes, the actual gameplay, the visuals are crisp, the colors pop. Some of the special effects from certain specials and boss attacks really light up the screen and just make everything kind of crazy looking like fireworks almost. It's a very visually impressive game in this style. Now, I didn't notice any slowdown during my playthrough, but occasionally an enemy or a background graphic just kind of looked out of place to me for some strange reason. Like the art style didn't mesh well with everything else going on, like just one little character, or some kind of asset in the background, kind of weird. This wasn't a huge distraction, and I could really only think of a couple times that I had this thought during my time playing the arranged mode. It gets so hectic and so many things going on on screen at, at one time, I, I could just be tripping. Now I feel the arrange mode looked and sounded great. The gameplay was very fluid and just was a really impressive reimagining of a retro classic. After having checked out the Retro X68000 release on this cartridge, I feel both the old and new versions of the game hold up very well for the genre of game they are in. Some will stand by the original, and that's cool. But after having played the new HD reboot, I find this version my favorite to play. It's just that impressive. I love the style, the graphics, how fluid everything is. It's a lot of fun. So overall, I think this is a great package for the price. Sure, it would have been cool to have an all-in-one release with all the originals included. But for what this is and how I'm looking at it as a celebration of the original, I think the game is worth 40 bucks. If you're a fan of cotton, or love horizontal shooters in general, or just really dig cute em ups, I definitely recommend picking up Fantastic Night Dreams Cotton Reboot. It's available now in physical form for both the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch. Fantastic value in my opinion, could always want more, but I'm definitely satisfied with my purchase of this game. Gonna stay in my collection for a long time. I love playing this one on the Turbo Graphics and various other you know, systems, it's been a, a blast playing this reboot. So 
yeah, definitely recommend it. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And with that said, we'll catch y'all next time. Peace out, bye-bye, and boom. Bye.